So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another first descendant video and well guys I want to talk about pay to win, monetization, this and the other from this free to play looter shooter. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so this free to play looter shooter we're all expecting monetization in some way it's going to happen but how it's going to happen we just do not know. I do have a clue though and that's what I'm going to share, going to share with you today. Now an interview Nexon did with a few uh, sources state that they are not going to pursue any form of pay to win which is definitely good to hear but I will say we've heard this kind of thing in the past and have semi snuck it into certain games mentioning no names but it is what it is but I do believe that they're going to be true to their word due to the type of game this is and a lot of competition there's a lot of stiff competition when it comes to loot shooters I mean the main ones Destiny but we've got many many more out there but this game in itself I've played the better for three days straight now a lot of hours in the game I'm enjoying it I'm down to rock with this game when it releases next year but I want to know more about monetization so <clears throat> me personally I believe it's just gonna be about skins weapon skins character skins emotes silly things like that that's what I believe it's gonna be that's what I believe they're gonna make their money from to support this game now I say this because when you play the game there's actually nowhere uh, you can apply any kind of armor there's literally nothing to do with clothing no armor no cosmetics nothing at all it's all weapons all weapons and even the weapons I said that you know they look incredible but yeah that's it there's nothing to do with armor I do believe and what gives me even more of a clue is when we press go down for decoration guys we've got skins go to skin inventory you can equip unequip collected skins now you can't click on this which is fair enough well that's what I believe this is going to be I believe this is going to be many many skins for the many many cats in the game social motion is obviously emotes um, there's a few here I wouldn't be surprised if some amazing looking things uh, that are added that you would have to pay for for instance as you can see here like holograms pretty badass but the skins itself I'm more interested in and I'm willing to support the game if I enjoy a game listen if I enjoy a game I'm going to support the developers especially when it's a free to play game they create a badass looking skin for one of these characters you bet your ass I'm going to buy it if it isn't overpriced damn right I'm gonna I did in Apex Legends the first time I played that game I absolutely loved uh, some of what they offered the amount of money I spent on my daughter for Fortnite unbelievable one of the worst things guys her epic account got hacked and she lost everything got in and epic are just absolutely useless we provided all kinds of uh proof that it's her, her account motherfuckers ain't got a clue but either way forget that i'll support a game if it's good if it's free to play and i like what i'm paying for and it, it is an overpriced now we see here we've got lepic or lapic whatever his name is we also have here ultimate lepic i don't know if this is their way of showcasing to us what a skin cannot like but this is the same character i do more or less think it's just going to be uh that these 10 characters will start with one nine with the ultimate version of the one here i do believe what we're going to be able to do is probably somehow or another upgrade these characters level them up somehow maybe get ultimate versions of them which would be pretty cool but they've said themselves and maybe way more than 10 characters or nine characters on release and the clue is there Descendant slot, there's 10 of a hundred there. Maybe even guys, you can purchase new characters. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. It's probably something that's gonna happen. And again, it's a free to play game. I'd support that. I mean, it's, I mean, cause it isn't, you say play to win, pay to win even. In a PvE based game like this, uh, if it was PvP, it's understandable. Having an advantage over your uh, another real life person is a bit of an icky one in my opinion. I 
kind of wouldn't support that. But in regards to playing against the environment, and playing against the enemy, playing against AI, playing against bots, if someone's paid for something, they deserve to. <laughs> they deserve to rock that shit. They deserve to rock that shit, in my opinion. They really do. Especially in a game like this. Like I said, it's free to play. Anyone can pick this up. Anyone can play it. Um, but if they do decide to create or bring in viable characters, it just depends how they are. I wouldn't support it if it is literally, <laughs> like, brutally overpowered compared to what the base game's going to offer. I mean, that'd just be wrong. But if there's certain things that just give you a little bit of a... Well, how can you say? A little bit of a... I don't know, advantage over the standard characters. I mean, hey, they've got to entice people into spending on the game if they plan on supporting it, which is fair enough. It's the way it's got to be these days. It's the way it's got to be these days. But yes, I do think, like I said, monetization in this game won't be as bad as many people are expecting and won't be as bad as many other games we're seeing out there now. But hopefully it's fair, hopefully it's balanced, hopefully it's all good and hopefully we all enjoy it. We've got a funny feeling guys, you know what? The First Ascendant may just be a good game. I think it's a game a lot of people will jump on to. But we will see you next year. But there we have it guys. My opinions on monetization, how I think it will affect this game, what they'll bring to it. And yeah, let me know your thoughts down below on the whole situation around monetization, paying to win in a PvE game, this and the other. But guys, I do appreciate you stopping by. If you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.